The year is 2014, the very end of 2014. Otenichi is a rising star in Silver Story and swiftly taking down our world records left and right for various silver levels. During this time, not only was he taking our world records, but also competing with Darkspine Sonic for the Silver Story world record, who was one of the most popular speedrunners in the world at that point. Tony and DSS would go back and forth trading the world records, which would make it very exciting to watch. However, there was one day that a really remarkable event would occur to show how much potential there still was for Silver Story being more broken apart. That day being October 7th, 2014. On that day, Tony decided to go for some runs on Silver Story to take the world record back from DSS, which was a 52-54. He had a very innocent looking run going into the final boss, which was behind by 30 seconds. Now before we take a look at what happens next, we should take a look at the final boss of the game, Iblis Phase 3. During this boss, we were tasked to defeat it by throwing huge rocks, which Geo6 community likes to refer to as Cocoa Puffs. You can gather these puffs and throw really good batches for each set that Iblis throws towards you. If you can get a certain amount of puffs in your batch, you can achieve amazing cycles. However, you need to hope your puffs don't explode on you when you try to get a good batch, otherwise you'll lose anywhere between 20 seconds to a minute. The fastest known cycle at the time was a 135. Now keep that in mind, since in order for Tony to get world record, he needs to get at the very least the second fastest cycle, 150. And due to how random Iblis 3s and runs, it could basically ruin the run even more than it already is, which makes it considered one of the worst bosses for all runs across the board. Back to the run. After Flame Core, he essentially lost hope in the record happening and just wanted to finish the run. However, unbeknownst to him, he would achieve this run on Iblis 3. Looking like a let's play, please. <laughs> Dude, he skipped a cutscene. This, this isn't a let's play. Plus, I'm not yelling at it, but playing it badly yet. Maybe dude! Dude! Look at all those hits! Mmm! Dude, we could get an incredible cycle! Nah, it's gonna be shit. It's all gonna be shit. Don't need to remember. If you think it's shit, it's gonna be good. Look at this! We already have 220 in the bag, and the second batch is yet to come! Dude, what? You're, you're bullshitting me. This is bull. Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Oh, baby! Remember, Tony, believe in your flaming balls. Believe. Sun! Sun! Mm. Is this the world record? Oh, son of a hell of this! Is this VR? Tony! I don't think record is possible. I don't. Wait, yes, it is! Because he skipped the wave cycle! This is an incredible Olympus! I've never seen anything like this in my life! <laughs> yes! Yo! Yo! Son! Son, that is the stuff! That is the stuff! That is World Record by Sir! This is it! We did it! We did it! How did that happen? How did that happen? That's IL World Record! That is IL World Record! That is an IL World Record! Tony had achieved the cycle that was never seen before and by many considered a pipe dream. This cycle would be known as the stuff due to Tony's reaction after achieving both the Iron World Record and the World Record in Silver Story. He was also streaming on Twitch at the time, and quotes from his stream such as, He skipped the wave cycle, and this is the stuff, son, are memorable quotes in the community which are still referenced to this day. Unfortunately, the full story record would be beaten shortly after, but the Iron World Record would stand for six years onwards. Without somebody getting the cycle again, and certainly no one grinding out the IL to get the cycle, this 125.7 would stand the test of time until 2020. Awesome Games Done Quick 2020 took place, and almost the entire Sonic 06 community was there for Focus Silver Story run. And during the run, Focus explained to the crowd watching all the possible cycles of Iblis Phase 3, including the stuff. And DSS was in that crowd, and afterwards, when he returned home, that finally spurred him to grind the IL again. And on January 14th, 2020, he would get this run.
He ended up getting a 125.4, which beat Tony's run by 3 tenths of a second. There's not really a whole lot to say about this run, it was just a slightly different route and execution was overall a lot cleaner. After this, the Hour World record would stand for a decent while, however, over the next year, the game would change the most out of any year it's been on store shelves. 2020 ended up being an insane year for the game. Due to the pandemic, many new faces began to show up or return, and game-breaking glitches were discovered left and right, changing the game and its community forever. One of those new players that joined during the year was Flubbler, aka me. It was February 12, 2021. I was learning Silver Story to hopefully be able to get good at all stories since I had just come off getting world record back in Sonic Story. On this specific day, I was practicing numerous ILs before doing a run, one of them being Ibbles 3, since in runs it can be quite frustrating due to having to deal with potentially bad luck with the puffs and also getting a horrible cycle. I was trying to see if it's possible to get consistent with the batches, and just intending on going for a slower cycle that gets you 220s to be consistent. Everything went typically normal, but on that particular night while I was practicing, I would get this run. Wait, wait! He skipped the land cycle once! No! No, no, I'm not just getting this, no. I legit never expected in a million years to get the stuff, since at this time I wasn't really an established silver runner yet, and I only really played the IL for 20 minutes that day. As for the run itself, it was very similar to Tony's run, because both of us took the same route, and we both had around the same amount of puffs each batch, although Tony had more puffs, just didn't throw them all accurately. After getting this run, I would think to myself, hmm, I wonder how long this run would stand. Well, my answer would come three months later. On May 4th, 2021, a new up-and-coming Chilean runner named Matthew would take my world record into Bliss 3, getting a 124.2, which was world record by a second. Now you may be asking, how on earth did he save one second over me? Well, he got a faster variant of Wave Cycle, but only barely. Ableus has three different speeds of Wave Cycles that he shoves out at lower health. They take the same amount of time. Since the projectiles travel off the screen faster, he can do the stuff earlier. Matthew essentially got what you could call a super stuff. Everyone else who had gotten the stuff, me, DSS, and Tony, all got six waves that were slower to travel. Matthew got the threshold to spawn eight, which are faster. I'd also like to mention that this was done on the PS3 version of the game. However, this faster wave cycle is also possible on 362. As of today, this is where the world record stands, but it's definitely not where it can stand in the future. There is a theoretically possible faster cycle than the stuff where you can finish off Iblis before the wave cycles even start, but this would be very difficult to achieve due to needing possibly over 30 hits to Iblis before the wave cycles start. Over the years, the stuff has been somewhat of a legendary tale told to new runners and viewers alike, and has had a legacy. Someday though, when the cycle will be hit, it will be a huge deal, but until then, this has been the history of the stuff, my name is Flubbler, see you guys in the next video guys, take care.